In 2000, energy technology represented just one half of one percent of all venture capital investments. Today, it's more than 10 percent. So the recovery plan seeks to build on this progress and encourage even faster growth. We're providing incentives to double our nation's capacity to generate renewable energy over the next few years, extending the production tax credit, providing loan guarantees, offering grants to spur investment in new sources of renewable fuel and electricity. My budget also invests $15 billion each year for 10 years to develop clean energy, including wind power and solar power, and geothermal energy, and clean coal technology. And today I'm announcing that my administration is taking another historic step. Through the Department of Interior, we are establishing a program to authorize, for the very first time, the leasing of federal waters for projects to generate electricity from wind as well as from ocean currents and other renewable sources. And this will open the door to major investments in offshore clean energy. For example, there is enormous interest in wind projects off the coast of New Jersey and Delaware, and today's announcement will enable these projects to move forward. Now, it's estimated that if we fully pursue our potential for wind energy on land and offshore, wind can generate as much as 20 percent of our electricity by 2030 and create a quarter million jobs in the process, 250,000 jobs in the process, jobs that pay well and provide good benefits. It's a win-win. It's good for the environment. It's great for the economy. 